astronauts to the moon. <laughs>what's going on everyone jaronism back again i'm here i'm alive thank you all for your concern and your well wishes i appreciate that and i do apologize right off the bat for the happenings of yesterday but the good news is we're doing it again tonight and i believe the results will be uh, definitive so we're going to talk about that in a minute uh first i had some rather bad news this is the last time Jaronism will be coming to you. Uh, the channel name, that is. I've decided to change it. Uh, no longer going to be Jaronism. I am now Schillerism. Yeah, I know. It's true. I've been outed. My true colors have been revealed. So from here on forward, please close your minds because there's nonsense inside. And you must listen to everything I say, treat others badly, lie, cheat, and steal, and hate all other shills. Remember that 9-11 was Al-Qaeda, box cutters, and the Earth is a globe. I mean, you don't think it's flat, do you? Oh, my goodness. I mean, hello, we can show the curve with math. Just kidding, guys. It is still Jaronism here, despite my recent outing and being called a shill. But I wanted to cover that real quick. And I mean real quick and leave that in the past and move on to bigger and better things. Yeah, it seems that some people think there's boogeymen under your bed. So watch out for them. Uh, I was called all things, including a Zionist and the thief, a liar. And uh, I misrepresented myself. So for the record, I would like to deny publicly these claims. And... They are unfounded and ludicrous and insane. So just to cover what happened real quick, and then I probably won't touch on it ever again. The IFERS forum, after being asked numerous times, I decided to go there and just make a post. So I went there and signed up and made my first post that just said, happy to be here, happy to help the movement. I respect Eric. And that was it. To which... 15, 20 people all said how happy they were that I was there. And then somebody said something to the effect of, I need to immediately not associate myself with Mark Sargent, to which I've already agreed to be on Mark Sargent's show on Saturday, tomorrow. And so I just replied and said simply, you know what, guys, I'm fully capable of handling my own uh, battles that if Mark ever said something bad about me or anything that I didn't agree with, I was willing to call him out on it. I'm not scared of shills or I, they don't worry me. I try to get all information, take it all in, and make my decisions from the information I'm given. To which I was then told that if I didn't listen to what they said and disassociate myself with Mark, then I was officially a shill. Does this sound funny to anyone else or is it just me? I still think I'm going to see that candid camera any second come around the corner. Uh, Mark and I are doing an entire show on bashing NASA and exposing the fraud. So the government shill show should be great tomorrow if you guys want to tune in and watch us bash our own employers. So despite me attempting to explain to them why they didn't have to worry and they could listen to the show and see that I had nothing but the right intentions and they should wait until I've done something against the movement before labeling me anything, I got cussed out and removed. And so, here I am, no longer a member of the Eifers Forum. Now, prior to my removal, uh, their claim was that I had stolen Eric Dubay's money. His donation of $200 to secure the cameraman for the experiment, I had stolen it. So, let me just say... I have the utmost respect for Eric. He's never said anything of that type. I wouldn't know if he said it yesterday because I've been 
removed from the forum. So I am publicly stating that, Eric, if you in any way feel I misrepresented myself by asking for donations of a dollar and you donating 200 if I misrepresented myself in any way or stole your money, all you have to do is email me. It's all yours. There's no, I'm not keeping anybody's money. That goes for everyone else, too. If anybody feels misrepresented or whatever, simply email me, and I have no problem returning that. Uh, everyone in the forum over there said that I was definitely not legit because I was asking for money, and I should just be like Eric, who doesn't ask for money, to which I responded before I got kicked out that I have a donation option on my videos for those who would like to. And I even tell people, if you don't have the money, please don't donate to me. I don't have the money to donate to anyone right now. I'm just asking if you'd like to help out. It takes time to make these videos. And people have wanted to do that. So that's really awesome. I thank everyone who's done anything to help me. Um, but for them to say that I'm demanding money and Eric's not, again, this is nothing against Eric. He wrote a book, and I think anybody who spends the time researching that and writing that book deserves to be paid for his work. Yet for them to say, I am not Eric, because Eric doesn't ask for money, I guess they don't realize that his books are not free. So it doesn't make sense to me where any of them got off, and there's two moderators there who called me every name in the book, and another forum member who continues to email me, telling me that I am a thief and I need to return Eric's money. And she also has told me that I've finally completed my task, which was to associate Eric with myself. And now that I've done that, my shill job has been completed. So I guess that was my goal. I didn't know. They they work shills differently than I guess I did. I didn't know I was a shill. So sorry, Eric, that I've associated you with me and whatever that does to taint your name. I apologize. Like I said, I wouldn't be where I'm at today if it wasn't for you, just as I said the same thing about Mark, that uh, if he's a shill, what a terrible job the government did because I was not going to make any videos. I was kind of afraid to until I watched the Clue videos and I said, you know what, if he can do it, I can do it. So way to go, government. You messed up again. So I will keep repeating because it's the truth that this has nothing to do with Eric. I always said I wasn't going to call people out by name in any of my videos until they've done something to me. But this may be my fault. I always thought the IFERS stood for International Flat Earth Research Society. I did not know it was actually the international fanatics exposing and removing shills. They have some amazing detectives, I mean, moderators there at the forum. They noticed me right off the bat. And uh, I wouldn't bow down to their commands, and they remove me. So, excellent job, guys. You are uh, amazing Flat Earth research employees, or whatever. So, if you haven't noticed, or if you haven't been there, just so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm saying, uh, does that sound familiar when there's a system set up to where somebody will tell you, an authority will tell you what you can and can't do, and if you go outside of that, uh, you are removed? Because it should be very obvious that it's exactly like a little organization that has a little influence on the world called religion and uh, the other one that has a tiny little influence called science. And so my opinion on shills is don't worry about them. I tell you everybody to think for yourselves and not trust men. So what would you be trusting the shill for anyway? You should be taking in everything you can and making your decision based on all the input of what you want to believe or not believe or if there's facts to back it. But uh, just because Joe says Larry's a shill doesn't mean anything. So that's my feeling on that. So let's move on to the laser experiment day one, which was yesterday. And I apologize for the video dropping. But uh, if you remember, I kept delaying the start because I knew it was too light and I didn't have any idea how long that battery was going to last uh, being that we were using cell service, there was no Wi-Fi. So I kept delaying it and then finally about 8.15 or 8.10 or whatever it was, we went live anyway and of course the video 
dropped, and at that time my wife had already gone across. So to tell you what happened, uh, you can look at the screen now. Uh, basically, we have the side that we were on is Lover's Point, and we were shooting the laser across to the Message Hill. And my wife was over there, and as we shot the laser across the water, the beam actually came out about 10 to 15 feet in diameter. So you might think that invalidates our results, but actually I'm going to invoke the dark matter, dark energy clause. And even though it wasn't observed, Earth is flat. So that's science, folks. What do you think? No, we actually are doing real science, so it did invalidate the results. And we get to do it again tonight. So, after we were done crying and consoling each other, but then we were kind of all talking and thinking and trying to come up with a better way of doing that, and while my wife was still across the other side, I asked her to get close to the water and crouch down, and I took the laser and just shined it about knee-high to the ground on the other side, and she said she could see that light. So, that's when we got the idea that we did the test wrong. We should have not worried about the laser going all the way across. It's so bright that all we need is someone on the other side being at water level or a foot or two above to be able to see the green laser on the other side if it's only a foot or two above. So we are going for round two tonight. Uh, the cameraman is going to be back and that's what we're going to be doing. He's going to be on the lover's point side. I'm going to be on the seaside side or the message hill. And he's going to have the camera at water level. And I'm going to have the green light at ankle or knee high. And so he's going to zoom in with the video camera. And if we get footage of the green light from across the water, then that would be definitive proof that the Earth is not a globe. And if we can't see it, then we'll move the laser a little bit up and see at what point he can finally see it. It should be no less than 10 feet. So, round two. I apologize that uh, it didn't go as planned yesterday. Should be able to live stream on the same channel today. No problems. Should be quicker, so there shouldn't be any issues. So, join us. 8 o'clock is what time we will do that. So, just pointing out that's what real science is. And you may not get it right every time, but you don't get to make things up. You do it again. Retest. And that's what we'll be doing tonight. So I did want to show you a few images real quick of what they show us as far as the globe. First thing I wanted to show you was this Apollo moon photo. As you can see, this astronaut is standing with the flag with the Earth behind him. And first thing you'll notice is the size of the Earth, which is about the same size as the moon is from Earth. And that doesn't really work when you think of the moon being four times as, as small as the Earth. And so the Earth should appear four times as big in the sky as the moon, but it does not. Then you look inside of his visor here, we'll zoom in, and you'll see what appears to be an astronaut with his hands up by his eyes taking the photo. Also, if you notice just him standing up in the direction he was, that astronaut would need to lay on the floor to take that photo. Then if you see, we scroll down here a little bit till we get to his chest, and there's a nice shadow of the photographer. I'll let you decide what that shadow looks like. Here we have a NASA rendition of what the Earth looks like with all the satellites that are supposedly rotating it, orbiting it. And as you can see, that's an easily navigatable path for the fantastic ISS team. Doesn't look dangerous at all. I can see why they don't wear any astronaut uniforms or spacesuits. Makes sense. And next we have some more definitive proof of the Earth being a sphere. This photo was taken from Saturn. Looking back at Earth, it's right there, that little dot. You guys don't believe in that? It's evidence. Science. This is another satellite image of the Earth. And uh, if you can't see it, you're not going blind. It's really that small. No, there's not a white speck on your screen. That is their evidence of the globular Earth. Now, you may be a believer in the NASA Apollo missions simply because the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter 
took photos of all the landing spots and the flags and all the equipment. And you'll see this photo here is clear evidence that we were there. Just look at NASA's drawn arrows pointing at the tiny little shadow thing and the little square. And that's proof. We were there. Don't you ever forget it. And as Johnny Cochran would say, if it doesn't fit, just make up some shit. And, and now, now, Intellectual Scientific, scientific Definitions. definitions. By Jay Jerry. Mirage. Noun. Pronounced mirage. Definition. An unquantifiable phenomenon explaining the situation in which the impossible becomes possible. Input anywhere and any time when dumb flat earthers propose distances and photos that would otherwise be impossible on a globe. Calling them idiotic, possibly primitive, is probably the best way to present your scientific facts. First, do a test. Does this result confirm our preconceived notions that the Earth is a globe? There's no need to test. No need to leave your house. Simply invoke the Mirage card. It can't be beat. Because, well, we're science. By the way, you came from monkeys. And everything about your existence is completely accidental. All right, everybody. This has been Schillerism. I mean, Jaronism. Just another fun video for you. Reminding you to treat others better than you treat yourself. Don't steal from people. And remember to open your mind. There's truth inside. And also, open the link to the Ustream connection. And we'll see you tonight. 8 o'clock. Be there or be a flat plane. We'll see you tonight. Peace. Close your minds, because there's nonsense inside. And you must listen to everything I say. Treat others badly. Lie, cheat, and steal. And hate all other shills. Remember that 9-11 was Al-Qaeda, box cutters. And the Earth is a globe. I mean, you don't think it's flat, do you? Oh, my goodness. I mean, hello, we can show the curve with... Astronauts to the moon. No longer going to be Jaronism. I am now Schillerism. Yeah, I know. It's true. I've been outed. My true colors have been revealed. So from here on forward, please. What's going on, everyone? Jaronism? Back again. I'm here. I'm alive. Thank you all for your concern and your well wishes. I appreciate that. And I do apologize right off the bat for the happenings of yesterday. But the good news is we're doing it again tonight. And I believe the results will be uh, definitive. So we're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, first, I had some rather bad news. This is the last time Jaronism will be coming to you. Uh, the channel name, that is. I've decided to change it. Uh, 